Hey guys, it's Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today I'm going to show you how to do a hairstyle that's inspired by Anna's hair from Frozen when she's at the coronation part of the movie. So, and yes, I do have a cold, so sorry about the froggy throat today. Okay, now we're going to begin by taking the front part of her hair, like probably right from, you know, above her eyebrows, and just sweeping that back. Do that again. And I've got her hair pretty damp for this hairstyle. Now remember this hairstyle is inspired by a cartoon, so we're trying our best to make it look realistic, but we are using real hair. Sometimes it's not gonna be perfect. So we're gonna comb this back, and I'm gonna secure it towards the back of her head with an elastic that's similar to her hair color. So we wanna just make sure that that's as close to her hair color as possible so that it doesn't show too much. Okay. So once you have this secured and in place, you can go ahead and use real hair for the braid if you want, and you would do that by taking a section back under here and braiding it, and then wrapping it up and over the front of her hair like this. Now, I'm not going to do that today because I'm gonna have a little cheat version, which is this really cool braided headband that I found at my local hair beauty supply store. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slip this over. I like the fullness of this braid better and since it matched her hair so closely, we're just gonna use this. And I'm gonna have her hold it right here in the front for a second. Sorry, babe. Okay, now obviously, Anna had some hair that came up and over the edges of the braid. So what we're gonna wanna do is I'm just gonna take my finger at this point, just hang on to that for a sec and make like a little section right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this into the front of the headband. So that when we're done, we can pull that hair up and over like this and cover up part of her braid. So it looks more realistic. Here, let me fix that. There you go. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. About the same amount of hair and we are set to go. Now that I have the hair in front the way I want it, I'm going to go in and secure this headband to the front of her head and just try to keep those bobby pins as hidden as possible so that this stays nicely in place. Now I'm gonna go back to these side pieces and I'm gonna take them and pull them up and over the hair on each side. And I'm gonna take it to the back. And I'm gonna use another elastic that matches her hair and I'm gonna secure this pretty much to like right in the middle of her head. go. Now I'm going to pull this up a little bit, fluff this section. I'm going to go back and just fluff this just a little bit, just to add a little volume so it's not quite so fl flat against the front of her head. Okay, so this is a little bit of the trickiest part, I think, of this hairstyle. You're going to take the remainder of the hair and you're going to twist it and then you're going to start to form the shape of the kind of loop effect that Anna was wearing. So we're going to take it up and I'm going to take it to about there and then I'm going to bobby pin. So give me one of those big bobby pins please. And you're going to definitely need bobby pins for this. There's no way around it. And you're probably going to have to use several. So I'm going to just try to bobby pin that loop in place to the best of my ability. So we can kind of keep that shape. Can okay, you give me a small please? Thank you. So you can see I'm just catching that edge and then putting the bobby pin in. One more. Thank you. And I'm trying my best to cover up that top elastic. And then we're going to take this loop back down and we're going to take it right underneath. Now if you have shorter hair, you can take it in front and cover up that elastic a little bit differently. But since her hair is long enough, we're going to go to just right underneath. Thank you 
and go ahead and bobby pin it again. One more, babe. Make sure we get these ends nice and tight. In there. And you can just kind of pull this a little bit, try not to loosen it too much so that it matches. You can see right there, it kind of pops out like it does in the movie. And then what I'm going to do is I just had in my bin of ribbons and other hair accessories, I had this cute little bow clip and I just had a regular ribbon and I threaded the ribbon through the clip. And I'm just gonna take this and just very gently put that down in, sorry, to the hair. Because in the movie she has a little clip and then some little ribbons coming out the bottom. So I wanted to mimic that effect as well in her hair. And I just used what I had at home. You can go to the store or use also what you have at home as well. And there we are finito. So we have, from the start, I'll turn her the whole way around, on his lovely coronation hairdo. Ta-da! I think it's very cute. What do you think? I think it's cute. So yay! Now make sure you guys check out our other Disney style videos. We have lots of them up from a lot of the other princesses as well. And don't forget that we do have a hidden Mickey in video. So if you find the hidden Mickey, be sure to comment below and just say, I found it. Please don't tell where it is so that other people can find it as well. And we will see you guys on our next video. Bye guys. Bye.